I just want to thank both of you for attending. It really means a lot to me that you're giving us your time. I know how busy you guys are, and I really uh, sincerely appreciate it. Uh, Senator Serino, we know him as the funeral home senator. Uh, he is our ally and our friend. Uh, <laughs> what a reputation you have. <laughs> making our businesses and our industry um you know, reputable, and uh, he just does a lot of good for our industry. So I just want to say thank you so much. And not only that, he's like a brother to me. His uh, sister-in-law is my best friend. So, and then we have Senator Yuko, who is like a brother to me. He grew up with us in the Slovenian community, so I'm especially grateful for him being here. Thank you both. I don't know if you Jerry, want to. Jerry, why don't you, you get your presenting, so go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am so excited to be here. You know, and then for my colleague here, Jer Senator Jerry Serino, we talked about that funeral bill. I thought he was going to die getting the damn thing passed, I'll tell you. <laughs> but he, uh, but he, he didn't. We need, we need a little shaboom ding yeah. But it was something that he worked long and hard on, and believe me, it was no easy task. I don't know how many committee meetings you had. 37. Or, 37, or amendments, but... That's why you have dedication, and Jerry is a dedicated state senator, and I'm proud to call him my colleague and my friend. And as Jane pointed out, my, my relationship with the Cernick family goes back to virtually when I was born because my parents were friends with her, her parents, and, uh, and I actually got to, back in the early 60s, play drums for uh, their cousin's band. We did a wedding band that her brother Billy used to be the drummer, and then he left to go play with another polka band, and, and I stepped in and filled in for Billy for uh, half a dozen or so years. And then we get, the Monreal family gets involved in here, and all of a sudden, we're all together again, and, uh, and it's a very great occasion. And it makes, gives me great pride as the state senator from this area to present a senatorial citation to the Monreal Cernic Funeral Home and cre Cremations uh, on their 130th anniversary. It's a, it's a milestone that most people don't accomplish these days. It's one that they did, and they should be applauded for it. And I'm very honored that today, as I stand up here with my friends, that I'm joined by Senator Jerry Serino so we can present this together. And... Uh, Congratulations, best wishes, many, many, many more, and God bless you. Thanks all for being here to support our friends. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lake County as two senators, and uh, Senator Yuko has been very dedicated to uh, to Lake County, and he supported my funeral home reform bill uh, in the Senate, and uh, I certainly appreciate all of his efforts to help us get that. It was a unanimous vote uh, in the Senate and in the House, and so that's that's rarely done. And. If you don't know, Senator Yuko is term limited. Uh, after this year, um, he will be not in the Senate any longer. He has served the last several years as minority leader in, in the Senate. And uh, we sometimes are on opposite ends of certain issues, but he's a great colleague. Uh, I count him certainly as a good friend. And he's a friend to this industry, certainly. And he loves Lake County. That I know for sure. And I'm looking forward to take following in his footsteps uh, with the new maps that we were going to be doing in January. Uh, I will be representing all of Lake County now. Uh, and I'm happy to, looking forward to representing the rest of the county. So in recognition of Senator Yuko's uh, great time is eight years serving in the Senate. Uh, and again, we have term limits. Uh, that's what the people asked for many years ago. Uh, and so he's not going to be working with us any longer. But let's give him a great round of applause and thanks for his work. Yeah. I'd just finally like to, like to congratulate uh, the, the family here because, you know, 130 years. I mean, Jane, you look great for 130 years. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Thanks. 
I don't know about him. I think he looks 130, though, right? But that's a great testimony. And remember, small businesses really make up the heart and soul of the economy in our country. You know, we have a lot of big corporations, but it's small businesses, many of them family businesses, multi-generational businesses that really hire most of the people and create the value in our economy. And we owe them a great deal of thanks for their long-term commitment to this business and to our community here. And I, I want to say that, as, as Senator Yuko pointed out, uh, passing that funeral home bill was a very, very long process. Uh, and it did almost kill me a couple of times. But I was not going to let them, anybody that was an opponent at first, bury this bill. The bill was going to survive, and it did, and we're happy that it's now law in the state of Ohio. So, congratulations to both of you, and continued success in the years to come. Great Thank job. Thank you once again. Thank you so much.